Okay, we're talking about The Exorcist, um, The Believer. What did you think about the movie? Was it scary? Um, did she get scared? Yes, I got and, scared. Yeah, it was kind of scary, but y'all, it was nothing like the original. I am 53-ish, going on 54-ish, and I still have, I, I'm still scared, and I'm still terrorized by the original. I mean, it took me several years to rewatch it as an adult and it was terrifying like this hey, one God. was not scary me at all me, it me, was me. thrilling in some in some parts but like when they brought back the original mother um it just it sent chills down my spine and then they show some pictures of the original girl in the movie and i was just like clutching my tiffany and um i was ter i was terrified <laughs> oh, did that scare you? <laughs> oh, God. Like I, oh, God. Like I said, the original movie was horrifying. Um, like, to this day, I'm still terrified of that movie. It was not the same. Um, it was a waste of film. I mean... I just don't think that it's gonna do what the original did. Um, for those of you who have not it's seen the original, you need to watch that one first because you will never be scared beyond your wits. Exorcist was the scariest movie ever made in history. And like I said, as an adult, I just, I, when I went to see the movie, I, I, I was for sure that I was going to be terrorized and I wanted to be, you know, scared to death, but it just did not give. It did not give that. Um, there were little parts, like I said, when they brought up pictures of the original girl, I was like, oh, but it just wasn't, it wasn't what the original movie was all about. It just, it, it, it didn't, it didn't, it didn't give what it should have gave. So I'm going to say from a scale of one to 10, it was a three. That's all I got to say. Okay, so let's get into like the spoiler part of this this review because I know some people is like, oh, okay, fine, whatever, but you didn't tell us like about the movie. So it was a setting, I think it was like in a different country and um, the mother, it started off, they were like in like the, um, at the market, you know, where little shops and things were at and um, the lady went to like, um, you know, like where they do like, I don't know blessings and spells or whatever something like that and this little boy came and got the mother she was pregnant at the time and um she said we got something special for you and i was like what what's going on here and i was like okay so the mother went somewhere and she was sitting in this chair and they were blessing and you know talking in different languages and you know different things like blessings and going over the stomach and everything so she was getting like a protection for the pregnancy and then after that um she went back to the um to where they were staying and the father had went out the the you know the guy he had went out to go take some pictures or do something i don't quite remember that part but um the lady was laying down she got in the bed got comfortable and lay down and she's kind of was like she looked and then it was like a rumble and then it was like an earthquake so um everybody was like running out to um you know, trying to get out the building because like everything was falling apart and she was making it down the stairs. And at the same time, the husband was running back to the hotel and he looked at the hotel and it was like crumbling. So people were running out, they were covered with, you know, cement and looking all white and stuff like that. And um, he finally got into the building and then he kind of saw like, he looked and he saw his wife and she was like buried you know underneath some stuff and he reached out his hand and they held hands and um she was she was like you know protect her so then they get back to the hospital they got her out i don't know they didn't show that part girl but they got back to the hospital and they basically told the father like it's you have to make a decision it's either going to be the mother or the child so they didn't um he didn't make the decision at that time it came later in the movie so um um what was I gonna say okay so um the next the next um scene was 
the girl. I was like, oh man. So like, who would you have chosen? Would you have chosen the, to save the mother or would you have chosen to save the baby? Like, I want to know, like, let me know what you would have done in the comments. I know what I would have done. Um, I know what I would have done. And um, yeah. So, um, but I want to know what you would have done, okay? And then, so she goes, you know, she's playing around the house and having breakfast and she goes to school. Or well, before she goes to school, she asks her dad, can she go over to her friend's house? I was like, mm, I know how that go, you know? And then the mother of the other little girl, um, she had asked to go over like a friend's house too. Mama, but when the mother was Mama, on the phone. Why do you leave me? He's done. Okay, um, royalty, sit with her till she finished, please. Okay, thank you, little girl. So, um, um, I knew it was something because the mother was like, go over to another girl's house. It wasn't the other girl's name. So I said, oh, they're up to something. So they're in school and the other girl, the black girl was whispering to this other girl and it was, um, got in trouble for talking. And so like after school, um, I guess this other little girl is supposed to go with them, but she was like, nah, I'm not going to be able to do that, you know, whatever, you know, so the two little girls went skipping off and they were leaving the school and they cut through the forest. So come to find out the girl, that girl, she was trying to get in contact with her, her mother. So, um, earlier when she was at home having breakfast, she had this scar. She was digging through her father's stuff and found something. She wanted something so she could make a connection. So when the girl was going outside, the father was like, oh, you got a new scar? She said, yeah, I, um, I bought this with my allowance. And he looked and he was like, mm. and so he realized it was the mother's scar. So he took it from her. So back to them skipping through the forest. So they get to the forest and they start lighting candles and seeing little stuff. And then that was it. And then it goes to another scene where the father, um, he's working late and lights and stuff are flickering. Like, you know, someone was giving him a clue or something. And he was looking at, he was a photographer. He, he's a photographer. So um, the pictures, he was looking at the reviews of some pictures he had took earlier and they were like distorted. So I don't know if those were clues, but they had to be some type of clues. So um, after that, Oh my God, he goes home and the, you know, the little girl should have been back by this point because you know, she told her to get back, you know, before dinner. So he went to the house and um, there was nobody there. So he called a friend and then um, he called the other girl's mother and he's like, she was supposed to go to your house. And she said, well, no, my daughter said, oh, don't cry. It's okay. Just go, just go back and eat. It's okay, Rorty. So, yeah. so um kind of find out he called this other mother so he's supposed to go to the other girl's house so then they meet up and they start searching through the um forest and the police are being called because they were like oh my god they called out the names of the forest and he's looking and the father saw like this little dungeon thing you know out the corner of his eye so he goes down there and he finds something and he finds her shoe and he's like oh my god so they were looking so at this point Three days had passed. So then they go to like a, well, they're at the police station. Let me, let me, let me give you that because that's another little tippy tip. They're at the police station and they show like the footage and everything. And they were trying to put clues together. And then the guy, the father, um, he was like, oh my God. Because it was like a father with the daughter, with the black girl. And then it was a couple. They had a family. And um, they were just like asking questions. He was like, so you know, what, what, what's really going on? What about your daughter? Is there anything we need to know? And they were like, I don't know you. Um, anything we need to know? I don't know you. And all this is going back and forth. So they were getting a little rowdy at the police station. And then, um, they, um, kind of calmed down. The police officer was like, look, y'all, we have to come together. There's no need to argue. Let's just figure this out. We got to work together. So, um, the, um, like three days had passed and they heard nothing. They had put flyers, they were on the news and everything like that. And then um, the father comes home and then the next door neighbor have these these healers and different people in her room praying and stuff. He was like, get the F out of my house and don't come back. And they were like, we, you know, we want to be there for you. And sometimes you know, when things happen like this, you have to think outside the box and we just want to help you with your neighbors and everything. But the neighbor next door also was a nurse. So, um, 
she plays a big part in this too and i'll tell you how she's connected to the story in just a second so um it goes to another scene and then it says basically this it was a cow like in the street and the father was like go get something for the cow and the guy goes running in the barn and you know he's looking for stuff and he heard some noise and then he sees the two little girls like sitting in the court talking about where are we and um so then they rush him to the hospital and um they check them out and everything, do all the tests to make sure they weren't um, messed with or um, violated and stuff yeah, like mom. that. And they were acting kind of weird at the hospital, but they went home. So the next scene, the black guy's at home with his daughter and um, he puts her to bed and then she comes in the bathroom, clicking the lights on and off. And then he tells her to go back to bed. And then um, she just appears like right in front of his face he's like what the hell so then um the next morning when they wake up the little girl i guess she had like you know a urinated on herself but it was a really foul smell like, what the hell he's like whatever so he put her in the tub and then um um he put her in the tub and he was running water and he told her to stay in there and then she came in a room and then she took this ribbon and wrapped it around her head and swung him on the floor and then she went into the hallway and started having convulsions and stuff so then um he calls the police they take her to the to the hospital now mind you the other girl is at home because when she got home that day the mom was like girl get ready because we're going to church in the morning and then so um that was that so they the, so the black girl's in the hospital and she's just having a meltdown she's screaming hollering and you know acting all weird so the next Next to her neighbor, the nurse, she was at the hospital and she was telling her, oh, I'm so glad that you're here. I've been praying for you um, and stuff like that. So then the girl starts getting like demonic and starts talking about when she was like, when she had a baby and she, you know, she had, um, um, did she give it up for adoption? I think she may have gotten rid of the baby. So the the um, demon he was talking about, you know, you know how they, you know how demons know your your dark secrets and they use them against you. And she found that very strange because, you know, um, she hadn't told a soul. So um, after she went to the hospital, after she got off, she went to the neighbor's house and she had this book. Let him know that. Um, he needed to read this book or get additional help because he had asked the nurse, um, have you seen anything like this before? So she thought about it. She got, you know, the demon was talking to her and stuff and told her a secret that nobody knew. So she had this book about like um, exorcisms and stuff he needed to read. She was like, I don't believe in that. You know, you Christian people, when um, when things are good, God is good. But when things are bad, it's the devil. He been there, done that. So he didn't want to hear nothing about that kind of stuff. So, um, he told her, said, well, do you have a minute? He was like, well, I don't need no minute. Did I just tell you like I was done? And she was like, let me tell you what happened. She said that she was, um, going to be a nun and that she, right before she was getting ready to, you know, be a nun, she had broke her vows and she ended up getting pregnant. And she, um, I believe she said that she like didn't have the baby, if I'm not mistaken. So he said, I didn't tell a soul. Nobody knew, but um, nobody knew. But the girl told her the name and everything about what her name was going to be because they changed their names when they become a nun. So she was like, I'm just letting you know, like something ain't right. So after that, it goes to another scene. And then um, the little girls at church. Um, the white couple they at church and little girls taking her shoes off acting all weird and you know doing little stuff sitting down acting all weird and then um, She leaves because the parents are up after that So um, it's the scene in the church So the parents are taking communion and the little girl had left and she was coming down the aisle I know y'all seen like that footage on TV where she's coming down the aisle talking about um, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus and so they um, got her and took her back home so um, I guess they had got together at this point and they wanted to, you know, do something more about this situation because at this point, I think the father had realized that his daughter was possessed and they said that, the, so the mother, the, the two couples, the couple and then the black guy, they were outside of the hospital and they were talking. She was like, they brought home something and I know like a demonic when I see it and they're possessed and the guy was just like, oh, whatever, whatever. So. After that, they um, 
she's at the hospital and everything and i guess they kind of figured they need to get the girls together to try to you know get the demons and stuff out of them because he had um the girl had the nurse had um got a like a father and um they were trying to get them to do an exorcism but they decided that they just wanted to just let it be like some type of schizophrenia or something so the father was outside in the car preaching like we're praying while they were like getting everything together and bringing the two girls because they had went to the other girl's house the couple the white couple and the girl had terrorized the whole house she tore up the whole house and they was praying and they had to get them out so they got that girl and then they got the other girl from the hospital and brought them together and that's when they decided they were going to try to banish you know these demons out of these two little girls and it just did not go well it was another black lady she was doing like her little stuff um um like with the tub and smoke and water and um the the guy had went to go dump some water in down the street in the house that the lady told her to take because they did a little thing where he poured the water and some stuff came out of their mouth and it collected in the smoke and then she got in the bowl so the father the black father had to go and um and um, dump it down the street. So when he's coming back, he saw the priest in the car, you know, praying. He said, the battle is in there. So he was praying. And the next thing you know, he comes in. But the whole time they were doing like this exorcism, they said, do not touch the girl. So here comes the priest. He comes in, starts preaching. And it was like, oh, Lord. Even the demons were like, oh, God, we in for it now. Because now we got a professional. And he put his hands on the heads. And the girls start turning their necks. And the priest neck started turning and they just whoop, snapped the neck. So they were like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. You know, they killed him and they were just giving up. But they had, the demons had told them that they had to choose one. One had to live, they had to make a choice. But neither of the parents wanted to do this. So after they killed the priest, the priest, the father, the white father went in the kitchen and he was like, I choose my daughter, I choose my daughter. And then all hell broke loose. Excuse me, the girl, the black girl had jumped up when they was letting her go because she was like having like um, cardiac arrest to follow her to go. He was like, no, no, no. And she flew up in the air and she started spouting out this back stuff in the thing and then she dropped. And I guess she was dead. But the other girl went into cardiac arrest as well. And I think the demon played a trick on them because the black girl survived and the white girl did not because I think they made a choice. and. You know, it was it was like, you know, when you make a deal with the devil, it's never going to be exactly what you think it's going to be. He always fools you. So never make a deal with the devil. Just do it out. Walk away. Don't strike no deals because it's never going to end the way you think it's going to end. So um, the girls, you know, they go back and forth. And then the other little girl, she dies and then that was pretty much it so like i said it wasn't really that scary it was times when it was a little thrilling but it wasn't that scary and then um like after that the other little girl died and then the police and stuff came and then like the next scene was the black girl in school back in school and then she looks over at the seat where her friend was and that was pretty much it so like I said, it was not nowhere close to the original. I don't think that, I gave it a three um, out of 10 because it just wasn't, it, it, just, it, just, it just wasn't scary. It wasn't on the same level as the original. Like I said, I had, I'm still like terrified of that movie. Like I just, I'm just afraid to watch it. It just to bring back all those memories of just being terrified as a child, not being able to sleep. I mean, it was, it was terrifying. It, it really did something to me um, growing up, like scared of the dark. And it was just a really terrifying movie. But this one, um, I would say save your money and just let it play on TV and see it for yourself. If you must see it and this is a must see, okay, knock yourself out, but you're going to be disappointed, okay? So that is my review and my, um, of the movie and what happened. I don't even know if I could, I don't know if this is what I should be doing, but I just felt moved to, to do the review and I wanted to tell a little bit more about it because I just felt like somebody's going to say, girl, what was the movie about? Like you saying all this, but you didn't say nothing. So that's it. Okay. Peace and chicken grease. Bye. Bye. <laughs> 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 <laughs>